Hello, um, I'm going to make a short video here just um, highlighting some of the uh, interesting features of the MyRio file system. Everything I'm talking about is available to you in this document which is on Canvas and you'll be handed a, a copy. There's a really good video which is going to be much more detailed than what I'm talking about right here. You can click on it. Uh, it's on YouTube about you know everything that I'm talking about plus more. Um, but um, what you should know, the big thing you should know is that when you use uh, the right to file measurement tool inside a MyRio project like the one that you have, uh, the accelerometer one that comes up when you first start projects um, it writes into a flash drive that's part of the MyRio um, if you you may have noticed that the MyRio can be connected to by using this web address 172.22.11.2 um, it pops up when you're doing the uh, test wizard and a few things when you do that and you have to do this in Explorer the original Internet Explorer you get a configuration screen that looks like this it's very much like a router configuration if you've done that at your home network uh, you can go in and look at all kinds of interesting stuff that's happening internally to the MyRio. The big thing is the MyRio actually runs a Linux operating system internally which means it can actually um, if you know Linux you can you can work within that. Um, you can also enable and disable various features. This is the only place to do it. You can force an update of the firmware and you also have this capability and I'm looking down here at this one you have a 386 megabyte, about a third of a gigabyte um, flash drive internally for it to store stuff. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do here uh, in terms of turning on its Wi-Fi capability and whatnot. That's not the point of this video. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, this is what you get when you just type 172.22.11.2. But if you would um, type 172.22.11.2 files you get something that looks like this this is the internal file structure of that of that uh, memory that flash memory and you have for those of you that are Linux people you, you know what some of these things are the bin directory, the readme files um, uh, system directories and whatnot, user directories the big one we want to use is the C slash directory here because that's where we can store stuff so remember that there is a C drive that's part of the flash drive and then let's go use this in a VI when we come back here to this I'm going to expand this and I'm looking at the the um, block diagram view I'm going to make this bigger because I want to add something I'm going to right click and add the right to file block which you used in several of previous tutorials and and this is the real big takeaway here all of this looks the same the difference is or the thing you have to think about is that there is no users slash login name slash document slash lab view folder in the MyRio. This is a folder within Windows on your PC. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to create a new file test1234.lbm and I'm going to check the standard stuff I do here like um, either no headers or one header. I want to use text if you use Excel files on the MyRio, they will fill up incredibly fast. It's really easy to create a 300 megabyte Excel file. It's a lot harder to create a big uh, text file. So I would definitely use text. I'm going to leave the rest the way it shows here. Say OK. And then I'm just going to wire some data in. I'm just going to take the X reading here. 
and let's just run this, see what it does. So, blah, 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 blah. This thing is going to run, and no data yet, but now there's some data. I put in a 500 millisecond timer in the loop, so um, it's not going to record every, well, it's going to record all that data. Um, and we've been running for five seconds or so. It should be 10, 12 data bytes there. So, I just turned it off. If we go to our file system and look in C drive, oops, too far. Notice I have a test one, two, three, four thing. I had been playing with something else later. If I double click on it, there it is. There's the data for the X channel. Uh, I'll tell you later how to fix this untitled thing. But um, you got one header, you're collecting data, um, and those are the numbers that were collected and stored. And this is in the file system on the MyRio itself. How do I get that off? Well, I can right click and save it. Save link as. Now this is going to go on my desktop. I say good. And there it is. And if I show it, oops, you can't see it. Here it is. And notice it's an Excel file. I can double click on it. And there it is. All the data is there. So there was one extra step compared to Windows. Because it's not actually storing it on your Windows machine, you have to drag it into your Windows machine to make it work. Let me do that again. Let me run it again. But this time I'm going make to make a change. Because I like to see time. And, and it'll put time in there for me. So I'm going to put a time column. Notice you can have multiple time columns. I'm going to say good. And I'm going to run it. Okay, it's starting up. I'm going to go just do this whole thing a little slower. I'm just twisting this in odd ways. But I want to make it show up differently. I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to go take a look at this file. And notice it's been updated. There's the time column. There's the new data. I can right click on this and save it and open it in Excel. All the same stuff I did in the tutorials. Um, this is a little odd that the first data match, first point, isn't really 500 milliseconds from the beginning, but every other one is. So I'm not sure how to explain that, but we can live with this data. Uh, so that's my piece. I would definitely encourage you to go back and um, look at this full thing, because it also shows you how to map this directly as, as a, a drive in Windows. And then you can just click and drag, or actually open it right in Excel from uh, the Windows File Manager. So I'll let you finish reading this. And there's some questions here about uh, things you'll discover along the way. Take a look at it. It's going to be very important that you know how to do this with the file system on the MyRio. And another thing that's going to come up is the fact that we don't have a lot of space. That means you can't be taking data every microsecond and saving it for days. You're going to have to really think about how to, um, what, what timing intervals to use to collect a reasonable amount of data. Okay, that's the end of this video.